World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour is a series of international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games. The greatest players and the largest payouts on the planet. In Tunica, six players clash over a $5 million prize pool. It's a melee in Mississippi, tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. We're in Tunica, Mississippi, on the banks of the mighty Mississippi for the final table of the $5 million World Poker Open. Advanced, like they say in the South. How y'all doing? Well, you know, Mike, I'm a little jet lagged, to tell you the truth. I mean, I should have paid more attention to the word world on the World Poker Tour before I took the job. I mean, last week we were in the Bahamas having a great time in the sun in that country's first major poker tournament. And then we paddle boated up the Mississippi to the birthplace of poker, the American South, where they have been playing the great American card game for the last 150 years. You're right, Vince. The history of poker goes right through Mississippi and right through this great tournament. And the cream sure rises to the top in the South. 512 players started this event four days ago. We are down to our final six, but only one is going to walk away as WPT champion and a million and a half dollars richer. Well, this promises to be a classic. Let's go down to the table and meet the players. Today's short stack is 28-year-old newcomer, electronic engineer Raja Katamuri from Irving, Texas. Now, Raj made it here by investing only $200 in a satellite, and he has a little over $300,000 in chips right now. In seat number one is another new face to the World Poker Tour. From Hollywood, Florida, 24-year-old former poker dealer Michael the Grinder Mizraki. Michael's starting out in fifth chip position today with 515,000 in chips. Now, today's youngest player is a 23-year-old philosophy major from the University of Wisconsin, John Stoltzman. Now, John made the final table by winning a $1,000 super satellite, and he's got 517,000 in chips. In seat number six, starting out with 1.1 million in chips, is poker's undeniable superstar, 30-year-old Daniel Negreanu. This is Daniel's third WPT final table this season, and he's already got two WPT titles under his belt. Kid poker on a rush, but in second chip position, it is Las Vegas pro and poker icon. He is 43-year-old Scotty Wynn. He's had some tough luck on the WPT in the past. Let's see if he can bring the title home tonight. He's got 1.2 million. And our chip leader, one of the best all-around poker players in the world, is 49-year-old poker pro Chow Chang from Las Vegas, Nevada. Chow plays in the biggest cash games in the world on a daily basis, and he comes to this final table with 1.4 million in chips. Get him in the air. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Well, here we go. The World Poker Open about to get underway. Vince, it's big poker in the South. That's right, and the winner will take home $1.5 million. Of course, we are playing No Limit Texas Hold'em. Two cards in your hand, five in the middle to make your best five-card poker hand. Action's going to be on John Stoltzman to act first. He quickly throws away ace, two, so hearts. Chow Chang throwing away his king eight. Around to Raj, he folds. And now it is Scotty Wayne, a superstar player. He looks down at just an awful seven deuce off suit. Well, the worst starting hand in Holden Poker. He looks like he. Oh, well, yeah. he's going to fold. <laughs> Look at this Dan and Negrano right you know, behind him with a wired pair of tens. That's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I'm going to raise it. Make it 60,000. He's going to pop it up with the two tens. 60,000 to go. Only one to beat is Michael Mizraki, the grinder. And look at this. He's got a pair of kings wired. First hand generator. I'm going to re-risk. I figured you might do that. I really had a feeling. He says he's going over the top with it. I don't blame him. Yep. Big fireworks potential right here on hand number one, folks. Raise it 150,000. Okay, I'm going to make it... Oh, look at Daniel. I'm going to make it one million dollars. He's going to make it a million dollars. Well, you know the grinder's not going to throw away two kings here. He quickly calls. You got a pair? Daniel's in quicksand here. Just cold the heck. On hand number one, over a million dollar pot already. Nice hand, sir. First hand, Daniel absolutely startled that this guy has this big of a hand. Kings versus ten, five cards to come. 
I love it. See the clock. I'm the one that needs it. Here comes the first three cards. Oh, that's a good one. With a flop comes 9-8-6, giving Daniel Negreanu a straight draw. So Daniel needs to catch a 10 or a 7. Well, he's got some outs here. He sure does. But the grind is still out in front with the Kings. I feel a 7. Was that a 7? The way Daniel's been going lately, he's been so hot. Let's see if he gets lucky. Not so far. Uh, Three of diamonds on the I turn. I need it on the turn. Too late. That's good for Michael Mizraki so far. Well, Daniel must catch a seven or a ten. If he does so, the grinder will be gone. If not, this young kid will double up on hand number one at this final table. What a feeling that'll be. Here comes the river. It's a king. He's made three kings at the river. And Vince, I got to tell you, he's got a big cheering section here today. They've come up from Florida to loop this guy on here at this final table. Oh, look at that. Kid poker Daniel McGrath taking a back, shaking his head. What can you do? You got your tens? Well, you see, he looks a little stunned here. So Michaels was rocky on the very first hand here at Tunica, doubling up. Well, how great is that? You go up against the hottest guy on the tour, you double up on hand number one against him. What does that do for your confidence? My name is Michael Mizraki. They call me the grinder, and I am a machine. To play against those guys have no fear. I think they should fear me more than I should fear them. You know, we've got three Goliaths at this table, and Daniel Negrano, Scotty Wynn, and Chow Chang, and three relative unknowns. First-timers on a World Poker Tour final table and relatively inexperienced in the poker world. So it's going to be fun to watch. You know, it's around to John Stoltzman with Jack 10. Look at this. The 23-year-old from the University of Wisconsin is going to raise it. Makes it 70000 to go with Jack 10 off suit. Chow Chang throwing away his 9-5. to five. Round to Raj. He looks down at Jack 8 off suit. He folds. And now it is Scotty win a former world champion. This time he's got a six offsuit. It's not the kind of hand you're crazy about when your opponent raises you. But he's already invested. He's the big blind. Yep, it's going to cost him 50,000 more to call, and Scotty's going to look him up here. Now we can see Scotty has the best hand, but he doesn't know it. Well, maybe he does, but here comes the flop. <laughs> All right, flop is king nine nine. Doesn't help Scotty, but it gives an inside straight draw to John Stoltzman. Scotty quickly checks, as does John. So here we go to the turn. Well, a ten comes off. Now that gives John two pair tens and nines. Scotty checks again, and John checks the two tens. Yeah, he's gonna play this slow. Here comes the river, and now a nine comes off, putting three nines on the board. John backing into a full house there. Scotty reaching for chips with his ace high. Saw his opponent check a couple times. He's going to take a stab at this with the ace high. John is quickly looking him up. He's called this. Ace high, baby. Yep. John's going to call him down that spot with any pair. He had the two tens. He made the full house. So John Stoltzman, the youngster from Wisconsin, taking down the pot. From my view, for Scotty to bet that hand at the river, Vince. You have to put your opponent exactly on ace, queen, or ace, jack. Meaning, if you lead out and bet, he may throw that hand away, and you can pick up that pot. Rather than split it with your opponent, you're going to win it all. You know, your opponent's going to call you with a pair there, so there's no great value in betting there on the end, in my opinion. John Stultzman, 23 years old, came here straight from prom night, <laughs> and looking good here in Tunica. John folds. And now we're around to another one of the glass. He's got a glass of a hand, two kings. Chow Chang making it 60,000 to go with the Cowboys. Into Raj. Now Raj has got a hand, too. He's got big slick. Oh, wow. He's also on the short stack, Vince. The electronic wow. engineer thinking this through. He's got a big hand. Little does he know what's on his right. I just can't believe you're not going to go with this hand. 
One of the best hands you can pick up. Ace Kings and no oh, one hold him. Yeah, but he's doing it. Scotty's out. I feel what this is. Daniel's out. <laughs> Michael folds his hand. I call. Back around to Chow. He's quickly right, called it. 65 is going to The Raj is not going to like that. I hope you don't have two aces. Chow said call. He's going to call him. I feel what it, baby. Hey, Chow, don't mess around. I had an ace. Thank you. The 28 year old from Irving, Texas, <laughs> in trouble here. Good luck, boys. What a bad place Here to be, but the there's flop. five cards to come. Let's see if Raj Katamuri can get lucky. Here comes the flop. Flop okay. is 10-9-3. Not Great. good for him so far. Well, what that means is he must catch an ace or two running cards to make an ace high straight. Otherwise, he's going to be our sixth place finisher. Chow Chang, very cool. In a good place right now to bust this man. Here comes the turn card. Well, it's a jack. Ooh, a lot of queens left. Now that does give Raj the ace high straight draw. So he can now catch a queen and win this pot. He can also catch an ace to win it. Well, he's got outs and he's going to need the big suck out. Let's see the river. Well, it's a six of diamonds. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's over for Raj. Every pot from now on. Here, every pot come. Raj Katamuri had less play time than Rudy. He's our sixth place finisher. Well, he got in here in a $200 satellite advance. He'll be taking home nearly a quarter of a million dollars. A good parlay for him. He's gone today, but you can't fault him for going all in right there with Ace King. We are down to five players. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. This guy is the toughest armor in poker. The millionaire with a hard bearing. Here in Mississippi, we've got number five in the Millionaires Club. Showing no emotion, but feeling good inside. Welcome back to the banks of the mighty Mississippi. Millions are at stake here at the World Poker Open. Let's get back to the action. You see? Well, I tell you, Mike, we have five very colorful characters here. Well, you're not kidding. Three superstars of poker, two guys that are 23 and 24 years old, but they're not backing up to these champion players. I'm telling you, they're holding their own against them. I don't know. I think it's... Uh, Chow Cheng right. extending his lead about 1.7 million. Scotty, first act here. Every part I play from now. Let's go. I'm ready. Rock and roll. It's my deal with him. All right, baby. The superstar Scotty Wynn going out. Round to Daniel. He folds. I don't think you're going to play every pot. Every pot. We'll find Michael out. Michael was rocky with ace five of spades. Well, he's going to raise it. On the button comes in for 62,000. 62. Substantial raise. John Stoltzman going out. Where's Ball? Around to Chow. Now he's the chip leader here. He only has a king six off suit. 42,000. Play every pot. Let's play every pot. Oh, yeah. Well, what he's doing is making a statement here. You're not going to run over my blinds. Don't try to steal them all day long. I'm a defender. He's sending a message. Here comes the flop. And he's hit lightning in the jar. He's flopped the top two pair. And he nonchalantly checks it. But look at this. Michael has flopped the nut flush draw in spades. We could see some serious fireworks here, folks. Oh, and he's coming out. He's betting at 70,000. Uh, let's see how the master Chow plays this. Flops two pairs. It's a matter if he's just going to call and try to reel his opponent in or if he's going to raise him right now. Oh, this guy's got some Pacino in him. Oh, oh. A nice acting job, casually calling. Yep. He's just calling him here. Going to try to trap him. So here comes the turn card. Oh, it's an ace. Chow quickly checks again. The grinder, potential disaster for this guy. And he's got the top pair and the nut flush draw. A really big hand. And Chow just sucking him in. Look at this, betting 130,000. Well, you can't blame him for betting here. No. Oh, yeah. Well, Chow's going all in. Of course, he's gone over the top. Well, he's going to make him pay for that draw. Happy pop, baby. Let's go. Let's see what I'm <laughs> And let me tell you, folks, right now, the grinder is grinding out a serious problem that he's got. He's grinded a headache right here. This is a oh, man. potential broke time. Oh. And what he knows is he's got outs.